up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car track suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2023 kia soul courtesy of fred beans kia in mechanicsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because there are actually some pretty big changes for the 2023 soul you guys probably have recognized that already by the front fascia of course but there's more than just that but anyways also this thing starts at under twenty thousand dollars so that is pretty darn sweet as well you get america's best warranty being five years sixty thousand mile bumper to bumper ten years one hundred thousand miles on the powertrain so that's big as well ultimately in this video that we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering fill ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so as you can imagine there are several different trim levels for the 2023 soul first one being the lx being the one we have today starting at nineteen thousand seven hundred ninety dollars and by the way that is a modest 500 hundred dollar price bump from the 2022 soul and i put it that way because literally every single manufacturer has bumped up their prices for 2023 so that's not that bad compared to what i've seen other manufacturers do but anyways s trim for twenty two thousand two hundred ninety dollars gt line for twenty three three ninety dollars the EX for $24,090. But the changes continue then with the power plant because there is no turbocharged engine configuration for the 2023 Soul. Powering all trim levels will be a two liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder, putting out 147 horsepower at 6,200 RPM, 132 pound feet of torque coming in at 4,500 RPM. Power sent to the front wheels through an IVT, which stands for Intelligent Variable Transmission. So if you're familiar with the CVT, it's a Essentially that zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 8.3 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 28 in the city 33 on the highway for all trim levels but the EX for whatever reason that EX trim level bumps that up to 29 in the city 35 then on the highway but either way taking regular unleaded fuel so you get to save some money there but so that before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here in our soul I wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes there's a little drive mode button located just to the left of the shifter you essentially have two drive modes you got the normal and you got the sport adjusting things like the shift points throttle response and the steering sensitivity so now have we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and put the soul here to the test let's put it in sport driving mode let's find a straightaway and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2023 kia soul here up to speed all right guys might as well do the acceleration here I'm just kidding. It's not that bad, honestly. You're not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway. Definitely not the quickest thing in the world, but you know what? It'll definitely get the job done. So personally, I wouldn't have any issues. I wouldn't have any concerns merging onto the highway in the soul. So no issues there. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 11-inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 10.3-inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 to 0 stopping distance goes, it's going to come in at 115 feet, which quite honestly is insanely impressive. And that was one of the first things I actually noticed driving the soul. The braking feel is quite brilliant. It kind of leans towards the firmer side of things. It really does instantly bring you to a stop so you got to appreciate something like that because really that's a safety feature in itself you want to be able to come to a quick stop if you need to so absolutely wonderful braking feel in the sole then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back coupled torsen beam rear axle gas pressurized shock absorbers of course as far as ride quality goes as we are cruising on some pretty darn smooth roads here in mechanicsburg it's been perfectly fine for me so far today in my short test drive here so as far as steering feel goes let me actually bump it to sport driving mode here instant difference you can definitely tell the difference between the driving modes when it comes to steering sensitivity it is a much heavier weight to the steering when you put it in that sport driving mode that isn't always the case you can't always tell a big difference but you can here in the soul so very nice steering feel in that sport driving mode even without it it's pretty good so no issues for me either as far as cabin noise goes i'm going 43 miles per hour it's really not that bad. There's a little bit of road noise, but that's kind of to be expected in a vehicle like this. But really, it's nothing that would bother me whatsoever. So that is 100% on point. And of course, touching on visibility, I think you guys already know the answer here. Because of its shape, it really is not going to get any better with rear visibility in the Kia Soul because of the boxy shape. So absolutely no issues there either but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 
Kia Soul. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2023 Kia Soul finished in steel gray, in case you were curious about our exterior color name. Let's go ahead and start up front because like I said at the beginning of the video, there are several changes for the 2023 model year, including that revised front fascia, most notably the Kia logo and its placement. So back in 2022, the Kia logo was right on the front of the hood. Now it is incorporated into the upper portion of the grill and it gets better than that. Look at the design right behind the Kia logo, with those little blocks that actually continues kind of onto the headlight a little bit as well. So I actually really like that design. It's really tied together pretty well. So big fan of that. And you got a new lower front grill kind of surrounded with silver accents. So that is pretty cool as well. You do have some front air curtains to the sides there, helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination. Of course, two new color combinations for 2023. Let me mention those real quick. You got surf blue with a black roof and clear white with a black roof. By the way, both of those color options are an additional $345 if you wanted to go that route. Then taking a look though with the headlights, there are multi-reflector halogen headlights that come standard for all trim levels across the board. However, LED headlights, you can get them. They are optional on the GT line trim level only. That's how you're gonna go ahead and get that. And by the way, that option also comes with LED fog lights down below then as well. And of course, automatic feature coming with all of those trim levels for the headlights, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there so that's pretty convenient but overall like I said I really like that upper portion of the front grill I think that's my favorite part about the redesign let me know what you guys think of the redesigned front end here in the comments section below but that pretty much rounds out the front end let's now go ahead and make our way to the side all right and so let me go ahead and start with rear privacy glass does come standard across the board for all trims that's pretty cool got the gloss black a pillar also coming standard on all trim levels nice accenting on the front fender I know it's just a slight little uh indentation there but i think that looks pretty darn good body colored power adjustable side mirrors do come standard that will be gloss black though for the gt line trim level only otherwise it's body colored for all other trims of course heated side mirrors then coming with the ex trim level only taking a look down at the wheel configuration 16 inch steel wheels with covers coming with the lx however there is an optional package let me show you guys what we got here real quick i don't know if you guys can see it or not but there is an lx technology package i guess for 500 that gives you alloy wheels which is what you're currently looking at blind spot collision of avoidance assist and rear cross traffic alert then as well so i did want to mention that we do have one of the package options that actually gives us alloy wheels but s trim level is going to give you 16 inch alloys as well ex trim level is going to give you 17 inch alloys and lastly the gt line giving you 18 inch alloy wheel so that is the side profile here let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so now since we are around to the back all the way to the top you do have a gloss black shark fin antenna but it is a completely revised rear fascia for 2023 as well if you guys remember from 2022 those taillights that go all the way around it was all red and they literally went all the way around that upper portion as well but now it's kind of finished in a gloss black trim so did want to emphasize that the taillights themselves are just on the left to the right as opposed to all around so that's one of the big differences in my personal opinion of course you got that new ish sole badging on that little floating piece in the back there of course that was for 2022 as well new taillight design like i was mentioning led taillights that were going to be optional on the gt line of course that is the option that also gives you led headlights to go along with that silver trim on the lower portion of that rear bumper of course and just below it all you will find a single exhaust outlet so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So but now since we are around to the back of the Kia Soul here, when it comes to opening that rear lift gate, it is a manual lift gate for all trim levels across the board. So simply just lift up towards the very bottom of that rear lift gate and it's gonna open up for you. Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 24.2 cubic feet, or I should say up to 24.2 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there of course is a 60-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 62.1 cubic feet to be exact. Also in that cargo area, you will of course find some cargo lighting. The EX trim level, however, is going to add a good bit, including a cargo cover, a 12 volt power outlet, and a dual level cargo board. There are some tie down anchors that come standard back there. There is a spare tire then, if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, and there's probably a little bit of kind of in-floor storage surrounding that spare tire if you needed it, but 
Anyways, then making our way up to the rear leg room, then just going to come in at 38.8 inches. So for reference, I am an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the back there. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders if you were to go with the GT line trim level or the EX. However, not for our LX, unfortunately, that we have here today. No rear ventilation either, no charging ports. And uh, again, we have the base model kind of, so not a whole lot going on back there. They make our way to the front seats, manually adjustable cloth seating coming with the S, premium cloth, however, coming with the EX, Syntex cloth combination coming for the GT line, 10-way power driver's seat though, coming with the S trim level and up with two-way power lumbar, by the way, as well. Heated front seats then coming with the EX, but it's gonna be optional then on the GT line. But honestly, for our manually adjustable cloth seats, these really aren't that bad. I personally wouldn't have any issues driving around in this LX trim level when it comes to seat comfort. So I didn't have any issues, I'll put it that way. Then take a look at the steering wheel though. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped for the GT line or the EX trim. Otherwise, you're going to get the urethane wrapped steering wheel that you're currently looking at right now. And it's actually going to be a flat bottom for that GT line trim level as well. So that is pretty darn cool. I remember seeing that on last year's Soul that I reviewed here at Fred Bean's Kia. So definitely a fan of that setup. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You got your Kia logo on the one side. And essentially, all of your buttons are located on the side of the key so it is all keyless entry with the push button start if you were to go with the s trim level and up but for our lx that we have today all i'm going to do here is simply put my phone on the brake and simply turn the key and so once started up this is one of the coolest things i don't remember this last year full digital gauge cluster I absolutely love it. And you know what? The drive mode actually adjusts the gauge color as well. So in normal driving mode, you kind of have this violet or purple hue and it's almost a 3D effect as well. I'm a huge fan of that. And then where you put it in sport, you kind of have this kind of red hues. Of course, that makes sense, it's sport. So I absolutely love that. I know it's not a huge change, but it does change the colors and I'm a huge fan of that. And like I said, if you look to the left and the right of those gauges, it is kind of a 3D effect to it. So you can kind of see it fading off into the distance. So again, well done Kia putting a full digital gauge cluster in an LX base trim level just like the Volkswagen Taos does. So that is pretty cool. I absolutely love that. Outside temperature, how many miles you have left until you hit empty when you need your next oil change. You got all the basics, of course, up there as well. So 100% love the gauges, especially at this price point. So well done, Kia, again. Then make your way to overall interior quality. Overhead sunglass holder is going to come for all trim levels across the board. If you wanted a power sunroof, go with the GT line or EX trim level. Manually adjustable climate control for the LX that we have today. You guys can see that. However, dual zone climate control coming with the S trim level and up. Also with that S trim level and up, you will get a wireless phone charger. And overall, as far as interior quality goes, I do like this texturized silver effect just in front of the door handles here. I think that's pretty darn cool. And it is plastic, but it is texturized and they put some thought to it. So I'm a huge fan for that reason. Just in front of the shifter, there's some rubberized storage. There's also a 12 volt power outlet, two 12 volt power outlets, and a USB charging port behind the shifter. You got your dual cup holders and within the center, armrest actually a decent amount of storage in there as well so overall again it's finished kind of on the basic side of things but they did make an effort with the leather wrap shift boot and again the digital gauges and the texturized silver finishes on the doors but now let's go ahead and make our way to the tech display so there's going to be a couple different configurations for this as well so eight inch color touchscreen display is going to come standard on the LX. That's what you're currently looking at. But if you were to go with the S trim level and up, you're actually going to get a pretty good size 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display. I love that. Either way, you got Bluetooth and audio streaming. Either way, you get Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. So you got navigation up there anyways, as long as you have data on your phone. Factory navigation system though, coming with the S trim level and up. Check out your climate control settings up there. There is a voice memo system. So if you wanted to record your voice, play it back at a later date, that is available for you as well there is a quiet mode that's pretty cool because if you have kids sleeping in the back it's going to limit the volume to 25 in the front and completely eliminate the speakers in the back so then they are less likely to actually wake up from their slumber there is going to be something called sound mood lamp lights so that's going to be optional for the gt line trim level i remember checking that out in last year's review i absolutely love that where it kind of changes to the the music that was pretty cool it looks like kia did away with the uh, sounds of nature at least on the a inch screen here so i can't play that for you guys unfortunately but of course you can check out your radio information up there and so when it comes to the sound system six speakers is going to come standard on every single trim level across the board and that's what we have today so we're going to test that out in a second but there is a 
10 speaker Harman Kardon sound system that is optional on the GT line. So that's again, not the one we have today. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the six speaker sound system that we have with us here today. <laughs> Honestly, the clarity was decent with that, if I'm being honest. There wasn't any bass in that song whatsoever, so I can't really speak to that. But yeah, the clarity was pretty darn good. It's okay for a six speaker sound, so it's what you would expect it to be. But anyways, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the soul in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us in safety. So IIHS top safety pick when equipped, with the LED headlights. So therefore the one we are driving today is not an IIHS top safety pick, but front side side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection, lane keep assist, driver attention warning as well. And if you were to go with the S trim level and up, you're gonna add to that a blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and lane change assist. Although, like I said, we got the package option that gives us that anyways, but then, Adaptive cruise control with stop and go is gonna be optional then on the GT line trim level and up. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, I do love the unique styling. The Soul has always had a certain look that it's instantly recognizable no matter where you go. So that's pretty cool. Great starting price point at under $20,000 MSRP. So I'm a big fan of that as well. S trim level and up though, personally, is really where it's at if I were to get a Soul. And the reason being, you get the wireless phone charger, you get the larger infotainment screen, you get factory navigation system, you get blind spot monitoring, you get alloy wheels, you get a good bit more by simply just bumping up one trim level from the LX to the S trim level. So I will say that, not that I mind the one that we're in today, I really don't, this is pretty nice, especially with those digital gauges. Digital gauges, by the way, that's something I am a huge fan of as well on the Kia Soul. I don't wanna leave that out. You get America's Best Warranty, as far as room for improvement goes, all-wheel drive option would be pretty cool. I'm just saying. I don't know. Maybe they can create a hybrid soul, maybe. Maybe have the battery sense of power to the rear wheels to make it all-wheel drive. I don't know. I'm just saying that's what the Corolla is doing. But anyways, that's honestly all I got because otherwise I would have said digital gauges, but this thing already has it. So extremely impressive there. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the soul in the comment section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're in the new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.